Yep. This is another ChatGPT video, but this time it's for SEOs. ChatGPT got to 1 million users in five days. It took Facebook one year to get to 1 million visitors. It took Twitter two years to get there. By now you've probably heard of ChatGPT. It's an LLM or large language model designed to produce natural sounding text with just a simple user input. For instance, you can ask ChatGPT to write a poem about pizza for you. Hell, I actually have a friend who used it to write performance reviews for every member of his marketing team. Harnessing the power of ChatGPT and other AI models is about knowing how to prompt the AI. That's what this video is about. By the way, if you want a solution to write full blog posts for you that are optimized for SEO, you should check out Growth Bar. It's an insane tool for blog writing. It helps you write 10 times faster with AI and also optimize your posts. Link in the description. So let's get to it. These are the 13 best ways to use chat GPT for SEO. Number one. Keyword research. There are a million and one tools, growth bar included, for generating keyword ideas. While ChatGPT won't give you search volume or competitiveness scores, it will help you with keyword brainstorming. Try this prompt. Generate a list of long tail keywords related to your target keyword. You'll get a list of keywords for your content roadmap. I recommend using ChatGPT as a starting point for brainstorming, then plug those keywords into a search tool like growth bar to understand search volume and ranking difficulty. Two. Cluster keywords. Keyword clusters are another great way to cover your SEO bases. As Google becomes more and more about topical authority, it's smart to generate content that spans many different angles of the same concept. For instance, if you have a blog about webinars, you wanna create content about how to create a webinar, the best webinar tools, a review of Zoom, Zoom alternatives, etc. So try this prompt. Generate a cluster of SEO keywords related to focus keyword. You'll get exactly as it sounds. You'll get a cluster of keywords semantically related to your keyword. Again, I recommend running these through a keyword research tool to understand search volume and ranking feasibility, but it's a really great start. Three, generate questions for an FAQ section at the end of a blog post. So Google cares about dwell time a lot. It's the amount of time Googlers spend on your site, and an FAQ section is a great way to keep people on page for a while. I love to include them at the bottom of blog posts so that users can get every single one of their questions answered with your article. Try this prompt. Generate a list of X popular questions related to your keyword that are relevant for an audience reading about blog post topic. You'll get FAQs. So include the questions and answers at the end of your blog post. Hint, make the questions headers so that Google recognizes the importance and potentially surfaces them in the SERP in the form of featured snippets. Number four, generate titles. Creating titles for blog posts isn't the most complicated thing, but when you have writer's block, it feels a little annoying. So try this prompt. Generate three unique titles with a maximum of 60 characters for a blog post about your article summary and include target keyword. You'll get a great list of SEO optimized blog titles. Number five, generate a blog outline. If you're an editor or SEO, you probably know the pain of creating countless outlines for writers. A good outline tells a writer what to include in their article to fully answer the Googler's query. While I think this is a bit of a shortcut, because tools like Growth Bar make outlines way more precise using AI, ChatGPT can get you halfway there. So try this prompt. Write a blog post about topic with the focus keyword, keyword, and you'll get an outline generated by AI. Again, it won't have the metrics like optimal word counts, keywords to include, internal links, etc., but it'll get you in the right direction. Number six find topical gaps in your outline. So now, if you wanna make your outline even more comprehensive, there's a chat GPT prompt for you. Try prompting, find topical gaps in the following outline, and then copy and paste your outline. You'll get, chat GPT will find additional topics you can consider including in your blog posts. Again, you wanna cover your topic from every different angle so that Google and readers stay on your page and love your content. Number seven. Intro paragraph. Ah, the dreaded intro paragraph. They can actually be kind of hard to write, and they're so important because it what hooks your readers, and it's what Google really, really cares about when it first scans your page. So in a world where more than 50% of readers bounce off your page, intros are hugely important. Try this prompt. Write an introduction paragraph for a blog post about topic using the target keyword, your focus keyword. You'll get great intro options. Shuffle through them and find one that really works. Number eight, get facts to cite. Facts, quotes, statistics, they're all a great way to show topical authority in your content. You can prompt ChatGPT to give you statistics that you can cite in your article. Try prompting, provide a list of statistics with reference links for a web page on your topic. This is going to give you a really great list of facts and statistics along with sources so that you can get them right into your article. Number nine, 
meta descriptions. Google only takes your declared meta description a little under half the time. So it scans your content and surfaces its own meta descriptions most times, but I still like to create meta descriptions myself particularly for high impact pages and posts on my site. Try this prompt. Write a 160 character meta description in an article about your topic using the keyword, your focus keyword. You'll get a meta description that's the right length and includes your focus keyword. FYI, you can also do this function right within growth bar. Number 10. Robots.txt. I've been in SEO for over 10 years, and the format for a proper robots.txt blocking file sometimes confuses me. So try this prompt. Generate robots.txt rules to block the crawl of a subdirectory called subdirectory name, but allow the crawling of the rest of your site within the domain www.yoursite.com. You'll get a properly formatted robots.txt file so that Google knows what to look at and what to ignore on your website. Number 11, link building with Harrow. Help a reporter out or Harrow is a great free way to get links. You get a list in your inbox almost every day of topics that reporters are working on in your industry. You can simply reply to the email and if the reporter likes what they see, they may include your expertise in the next article they're writing, which of course means a backlink. So try this prompt. Write a professional sounding and short reply to the following help a writer request, saying that I have firsthand experience with the Hero request, and I'm happy to provide the input needed as long as I don't have to mention site names. You'll get a nicely tailored email teed up and ready to go back to the reporters. Number 12, find websites in your niche for link building. I'm always on the hunt for link building partners. ChatGPT can help. Try the prompt, find popular websites related to topic. You'll get a list of 10 or so websites that are related to the topic. And you can pop those in a Google sheet, add contact info, and then begin outreach for backlinks. Number 13, internal linking. So internal linking is really important. It's part of on-page SEO, which I have a video on. You can check it out. And if you don't have an internal linking tool like Growth Bar or Link Whisper, you're gonna leave users stranded on your web pages. So internal linking again is linking from one page on your site to another page. But which page? Try this prompt. Given these pages, you'll just list out your pages, group them semantically by topic, and you'll get a list of semantically related pages that you can then use for your internal link building strategy. Link from one page to another based on semantic relevance. So let's wrap this up. Did I miss any good ones? Put them in the comments below. And you should like and subscribe if you like great SEO content like this. Also, give Growth Bar a try. My AI writing tool can help you write blog posts 10 times faster and optimize them as you go so that you rank on Google for keywords you care about. Thanks again.